Damn, bro, you got the Edgar cut now? Hey, man, it's an yeah. unwell cut. That's the Edgar cut. That's the unwell, bro. I'm, I'm in the thin line, though, because I haven't had a haircut like in a week and a half. You, I'm, you got the Edgar cut. I'm thin line between Takwache and Manuel. You got a uh, Edgar cut. I'm not like Guache, bro. It's Edgar cut. It's like I don't have the truck to go with. That's the thing. But I'm, <laughs> I'm working on it. I don't have a truck either. I'm working on it, man. I got to get my truck, bro. Shit. I got to make some more money. Man, I want you to know Chevy Tumbala. Oh, shit. Big speakers in, in the rear seat just to scare all the all the Mexican dads likely coming from my daughter. See, my dad's got a Chevy, and like, bro, my dad's been in the fucking. All right, so welcome to the podcast. Three, two, one. We're here with uh. My name is Alex Rivas. I'm a professional, uh, yeah, professional, possibly playboy, professional or chata taster. Professional uh, or chata taster. Um, I will judge your video, and I will be honest with you. A lot of you guys, <laughs> your video game is really weak. I don't know who showed you. Your mama ain't teach you like this, so step your game up. <laughs> I'm here. We're just talking shit like we usually do. Yeah, but nah, bro, my dad's been with the fucking Troquitas Tumbadas for fucking forever, Your bro. Your dad's square box um, Nissan game? Yeah. Phenomenal, bro. Bro, he's had that shit forever, and like, I, it just now became popular here, so it's like, my dad's been with the shits forever. He had that white one, man, and I remember wearing a soccer practice, and yeah. he tried to do like a little donut in the dirt, bro. <laughs> I didn't hold on to the door. <laughs> Door flipped open, man. Your dad was pissed at me. Oh, really? I don't remember. I remember that shit literally, That's bro. crazy. My dad's been with that for a your dad's, your, fucking forever, your bro. That's an OG in the truck game, man. So bro. He started this shit up. He's got this fucking 04 blue Chevy. Mm-hmm. I remember, like, in 06, uh, we were looking for trucks and shit, and we went to the Concord Mall, and I seen this blue truck. I was mm-hmm. like, hey, dad, what about that one? And this shit was fixed up, bro. Lowered, nice rims, fucking... Speakers, fucking uh, the fucking the bed cover and shit, mm-hmm. nice ass paint job, mm-hmm. and he ended up buying this shit. Mm-hmm. And bro, that was a fucking drunk to mother before. Yeah, bro, there was a lot of cars being sold at the Concord Mall. You think about that? Is there? Yeah, my dad bought like three work trucks out, really? out there, bro. <laughs> I don't know what was, what was going on, but like, yeah, my dad bought three work trucks. My dad had a uh, two thousand Chevy Silverado. Yeah, uh, extended cab. It was a piece of shit, <laughs> right? But he put 22s on it. He lowered uh-huh. it. Flowmasters on it. It was a V8, so it sounded crazy. It was all yeah. white, perfect paint. Put a, a cover on it. It was it was a sick truck, bro. Yeah. And he just got rid of it. I don't know why. It's sold it just cause. Just cause. So it's my deal. No shit. I'm just, and I'm looking back like yo, that could have been a sick truck for yeah. the truck scene. A troca. A troca. Troca. It could have. It's Definitely. like when I was in the car game. I guess. I stopped, and that's when that whole wave came in. Yeah. Everybody. I saw it in Houston when it was first starting. Uh-huh. I used to go out there, and I didn't really get it. But then the music started coming. Yeah. The trucks started coming, and I was like, that's pretty sick. Yeah. And now people are, you know, you see it around. I saw that shit started getting crazy, like, 2018? Mm-hmm. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I started going to the car meet, and the car meet started becoming truck meet. Yeah, like, truck meet. I, I, I see the Faisitos on the side, I was like, yeah. well, okay, it's trying to whip, but like, I wasn't <laughs> getting it. Yeah. But now I'm just like, it's just yeah, pretty I started cool, seeing bro. the fucking Mexican flags, all that shit, in yeah. the back of the trucks. And you go to the Anyak Mall, or the, not Anyak Mall, Anyak Pulga, or the San Jose Pulga. 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 Yeah. Pulga. Yeah. You get, talk to the homies with the big ass speakers for like nothing, <laughs> get those installed. Yeah. <laughs> You're good, bro. Exactly, bro. My dad spent so much money on his sound system. Bro, he didn't even drive the fucking truck. truck. <laughs> he didn't drive that shit. He spent like three racks on just fucking just 20, like 20s fucking, fucking subs, like fucking new sound system, and a nice ass truck. It just sits Sinner, there. Sinner, bro. My dad never got into that. Like, yeah. But he was into Broncos. Oh, fuck Or like yeah, old yeah. Narco trucks, you know what I'm saying? Like the 90s yeah. square body Chevys or shit like that. And. You know, it was it was a phase, you know, wearing chains like this and shit. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah. Chest hair all out. <laughs> yeah, so fucking my, the three three buttons undone. Bro, my dad was um he he was in his twenties during the eighties. Yeah. So he came from that era, but like big ass tejanas, fucking yeah. chest popping out. Bro. You look at it like yeah, but I see the influence now. Yeah, my dad too. It's funny that that came over here. Over here. Over here, yeah, bro. That's, that's crazy. Yes. What have you been up to, man? Me. 
fuck, bro. Uh, navigating life. Honestly, bro, I've been through a whole... I go through fucking so much shit, and I change so much. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I have stories for fucking days. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about recently. All right, so I've been out here in these streets. You feel mm -hmm. me? Out here in the streets. Mm -hmm. Learning that lifestyle. Navigating through it. Hopefully, I'm out the streets immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second of all... Uh, I've been having fucking. I've been sleepwalking, and having night terrors, bro. You ever had that shit? Sleepwalking. Yeah, I've been sleepwalking. Oh, bro. And having night terrors. You ever had night terrors? Yeah, but I wake up like sweating and shit. Like fuck, I'm not sleepwalking now. Bro. Yeah, no, I wake up fucking yelling. <laughs> yelling. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for your parents, bro. Like, they hell spooky yeah. shit. <laughs> no, it's because for whatever reason, I've always like in my dreams, like I'm getting killed. Mm. And right as I'm gonna get killed. I wake the fuck up. And so in these dreams, I'm like about to get fucking murdered. So I'm screaming, trying to like kill whatever the fuck's killing me. And I woke up yelling. It was the first, like, just, this just happened like this week. Bro, she go get a limpia. Get the little webito and just. <laughs> nah. Crack, crack it open. I think I'm on my good vibes, bro. Oh, no, bro. Nah, I'm definitely in my good Somebody vibes. Somebody's just a brujeria, man. You gotta get that shit checked out. Nah, I'm having a growth spurt, bro. Any I girls got... that know brujeria? Or all that stuff. Get, get the fuck about. away from bro, me. Bro, they be the cutest. That's not the worth they shit. Get out of here. They be the bro. cutest ones, though. Oh, no, no, bro. That's why they're the cutest ones. The five foot two Mexican chicks. Devils. No. <laughs> Devils. Hell no, bro. I can't. No, man. They tell you about your uh, your whole past and shit. You'd be like, damn, how, how'd you know about my trauma? I, I've been getting into the horoscope shit, bro. I've been mm. learning about that stuff. Mm. First, it was for the chicks. Now it's for the, this is too accurate. This is too accurate, bro. Like, <laughs> that shit, bro, it predicted when my last relationship was going to end, bro. What that shit was crazy. Yeah, bro, that shit All was that? All that? I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, I don't know if it's 100% accurate. It's somewhat accurate. Mm. We'll put it that way. So mm. learn what you can about whatever the fuck you want. Mm. Try to learn about yourself before you. Well, yeah, learn about yourself. Yeah. Don't worry about other people. Learn your own shit. Mm. Anyways, what have you been up to, bro? Shit, I just, hmm, what have I been up to? Yeah. Um, since the last podcast we had, I made goals for myself. Yeah. I got a, I got rid of a lot of debt. I um, been focusing on my work and on my mental health, and I've been chilling, man. See, when you're working on yourself, and instead of, this is my, I believe in, right? Yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm very private with my shit, but when I do post shit, posting like, hey, I'm working out. Yeah. I'm working towards something. I'm. Um, you know, focusing on myself, doing shit that I like, be my and be myself. And then instead of saying, Oh, I'm over here partying, I'm over here spending this much money, I'm over here fucking yeah. you know, that'll come later, but like I just wanna show people that I'm grinding on myself and working on myself. And you really people who can um, identify with that mm -hmm. will start um um coming towards you. Yeah. Instead of saying like, Oh, I see Brando over there in Cabo yeah. I'm not going to think about how much you work for that. I just want to leech onto that. Yeah. So I've cut those people out and just stayed with my core group of people and been grinding and working on myself and having conversations with people, you know, instead of um, just, I don't know how to describe it, man. It's, it's been a lot of growth. No, of I growth. understand. Bro. I went through all that stuff this past year. Yeah, man. And I see people who are doing good. Yeah. Instead of me trying to lead you on, I'm like, hey, how'd you get there? Yeah. How'd you, um, how were you able to afford this, Benz? How do, how were you able to move out in yourself at this age? Like, yeah. I'm not just saying, hey, give me your shit. Just give me some tips. Yeah. And if you want to allow your um, doors open towards me about teaching me something, you know, it's appreciated. For sure. So, that's what I've been on. That's dope. And um, it's just regular shit, you know. In the gym, every guy does that shit. But I'm just <laughs> consistently in the gym. I'm yeah. going back to school. I'm, you know, what are you going to school for? I'm going to school for an electrician. Oh, okay. Cause like I, I see get my, your bands though. Yeah, man. I see all my homies and my my cousins pulling them with big ass fucking Denali's and shit. And I'm yeah. in my little Honda. I'm like, oh, I need to my game up. <laughs> yeah, I feel that, bro. I'm on that same vibe. So I'm going to school at night. You know, long nights. Trying to get that shit done. Um, How take, long is that? The trade? Um, well, let's say it can either be from like a year and a half to two years and a half. I'm, I'm taking a community college, so I'm not going to like UTI or something. Okay. So I told my cousins, I was like, I want to know what the fuck I'm getting into. Yeah. Before I pull up, make you guys look bad, and fucking hurt myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So I'm trying to do that, and I get a good knowledge of it, practice on some shit, 
And usually, you know, with uh, unions, they'll pay yeah. for your apprenticeship. So I'm like trying to get some basics down, apply, uh, get an apprenticeship, mm-hmm. come work, you know, work in the study, make some actual money. And yeah, bro, because you got to have a plan. Let's do it, bro. You got to have a plan. For sure. No, it's because like, okay, I feel like there's a couple different like circumstances people are in right now, mm-hmm. like our age. Because mm-hmm. you're what, 23 too, right? Turning 24 in a bit, man. Two weeks. Oh, fuck, yeah. Two weeks, man. What is it? April 14th? 13th. 13th. I know. Shit. Me too, in fucking July. July. Old man. ass. I'm turning 24? Yeah. I'm older than you? Yeah. yeah You've always been older. You're fucking taller than me too. That doesn't mean shit, bro. I got homies that are way shorter than me. They're <laughs> fucking 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyways, bro. Yeah, I forget what the fuck I was talking about. But anyways... I feel like there's a couple different phases. There's like the the ones who like settle, settled into whatever the fuck they're already doing. Mm-hmm. So like whether they have kids or like they're at a job they're just stuck at for like forever. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to change. Mm-hmm. Then there's the other ones who just party all the time. Mm-hmm. And then there's the ones kind of figuring their shit out what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like that's us. That's us. And I'm, the thing is, but I'm never satisfied. That's the thing. I'm, I'm, yeah. I get somewhere and I'm cool. But I'm like, I can do better. Yeah. You know, like right now, okay, I paid off my debt. I got more money coming in. Um, paying off my starting to pay off my car more. Yeah. Um, you know, I stopped eating out. Okay, I'm losing weight. I see my body changing. Yeah. I'm not comfortable. Okay. I gotta do that guy. This is a fucking brand new man. This is this is not the playboy. This is the play man. The play man. The play man. <laughs> it's not sounds good. It's plus, plus only the playboy is <laughs> iconic, man. And I keep telling people, it's not that I was a playboy out here. It is not. Yeah. That's not the reason. I, everybody knows me as well. I was shy as fuck. Reason why it's called a Playboy, um, this is this is what explains my taste in music. Yeah, you ever heard of Mac DeMarco? Uh, I think so. Okay, I Mac just, DeMarco, yeah. indie singer. They had a a documentary about his life and how he grew up, how he became a you know what he is right now. Yeah, and it was called Pepperoni Playboy. Pepperoni Playboy. For some reason, I was like, that sounds cool. <laughs> Let me put my little twist on that shit. Yeah, Pepperoni Playboy came out. Okay, bro, because we all had bad usernames, man. We all had fucking okay, horrible, horrible. Yeah. I had the homie Alex, bro. Like, Okay, <laughs> uh, Hoochie Killer, the, I don't know what right. Hoochie Killer for, like, everybody knows me from that. Yeah. And then Pasole Playboy. And then once you get a good username, yeah. and people notice you in public, oh, what's up? Like, oh, shit, bro, that sounds cool. Yeah. Instead of, uh, like, when people used to fucking call each other by their Instagram names yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. I was like, crazy. but the thing is, I want to change it now, because Playboy doesn't really, like, uh, reflect who I am, so I'm cooking up some. You know, I was just telling this girl, like, I don't have a fucking nickname or nothing. I've always just been Brando. Brando? I feel like you had a nickname. I feel like you had a nickname back then. I've never had a one, bro. I've never had a nickname. No fucking nothing. I don't have a middle name. It's either Brando or sometimes people fucking call me Fabian. Because that's my last name. Fabian. But I I know you had one, bro. I've never had one, bro. Never in my fucking fucking life, bro. I just, I just got to remember this. I'm a fucking guapo de Enya. That's what you could call me. Oh, bro. And once I moved out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get out of here. You're from Pittsburgh now. You got the Edgar cut. Edgar you're getting cut. a throk. You're from Pittsburgh. You were, you're probably rocking J's right now. I got the Oreo 5s, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oreo 5s. But these are, That's the Pittsburgh fit. These are the first um, pair of um, um, Jordans I ever bought from like, like back in the day. Really? Not the recent release of the Oreo 5s. It's one before that. So it's probably yeah, yeah. about 2010, 2011. I have no fucking Me neither, clue. That's bro. just long ago. I, I just kept them, you know what I'm saying? I treat my shit good. Yeah. My 11s, though. <laughs> I wear those every day. And, dude, they're fucked up. Yeah. Nah, man. It just, it's me, man. You know, what can I say? I'm just, I'm, I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. You people recognize me, man. Tallest Mexican ever, man. It's just, like this. Have you ever met a Mexican taller than you? Nah, bro. I've seen people that can, that can be at my eye level. I'm like, yeah. Mm, but I've still got like that one inch over them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Length and height. Um, didn't catch that one? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> delete that from we the just pod. keep going, bro. Delete just keep going, the, bro. Delete that from the podcast. I don't know. What the fuck we're talking about. We can't be talking about cucumber sizes. We're talk- right, Cucumbers? I thought you were talking about shoe sizes. Shoe bro. sizes. Okay. Yeah, shoe sizes, man. That's what we're talking about. It's here. crazy, man. Big, yeah, bro. big shoes, big socks, man, and big feet. Uh, yeah. Tall body, long chain. Yeah, if, I put this on a, <laughs> if I put this on like a three year old, it's going to be down to their freaking knees, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a big edge change. This little thing, though. Yeah. You know, I don't know why we always get gold from Mexico. We never get it out here for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't even. The only reason I have gold is because my, my mom gave it to me. 
I don't think you got you it. probably got it in Mexico, man. Or you got I don't like, know. You were, you were dripped down like as a little kid. It had like a little, you know, right here. Yeah, little, this is. Yeah, is, right is there. This one just re. This one got redone. redone. Yeah, because you probably redone. had that. I had a little one that said Rivas or Alex. But I was uh, like yeah. three, bro. I was like, I don't know how yeah, to appreciate yeah, yeah. gold or shit. But yeah, exactly. The thing exactly. is, now my mom had me. Know. My mom had me in all Payless like clothing and shoes, but she had like the gold <laughs> on me. I was like, bro, oh. I could not fuck with Payless. If you gave me so what for Airwalks? Airwalks? Air fuck no. Damn, man, I was walking New Balance. You would get fucking roasted, bro. New Balance, but it was like my mom, man. She, but she bro. was kind of smart though. She was yeah. kind of smart. It's like she told me at that young age, you don't know how to appreciate nice stuff. Yeah, that's you true. Get, you're gonna get it dirty. You're gonna throw yeah. up. You're gonna fall down and scrape your shoes. Like, yeah. Mom, I'm gonna spend so much money on some nice Nikes. Yeah. When I know you. Don't really know how to appreciate them at that age, and I was like, "You're kind of smart with that shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I see people buying their kids Jordans, you know, Yeezys. See, I had back in the day I, when I was a kid, I would have like one pair of shoes. I'd rock that pair of shoes for like a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had that in my botas when I used to go out, man. Little <laughs> kid, and my mom, see my mom, yeah. and dad. That's the race, man. So I have my little vaquero shit, my little yeah, have my little hat jeaned up. I look like Jay Leno, <laughs> fucking my boy, like, man. Bro, I used to rock that feel all the time. Now I left it because it got kind of corny for me, bro. It I was like, corny. fuck, bro. Uncomfortable, man. I don't know. Uncomfortable, man. Uncomfortable, corny. It's not what's cool out here, you feel me? Hey, man, it's coming back. And now man. it's fucking back. Blueberry now shirts and shit. I can't rock. I don't have the body for that, bro. Fucking Sean John shirt. <laughs> bro, I, I want to wear rock wear again, bro. I love rock wear. Rock wear. Soft pole. Shit. What are you rocking, man? I don't know. Some fucking Hollister and shit. Echo. Echo. You bitches grew up on Echo, bro. You guys grew up on Echo. Don't front. Uh, I used to rock them Echo pants for sure. Yeah, I got Echo shoes, bro. I had South Pole. What else? LRG. Yeah. I used to rock Obey back in the Obey, day. Obey. That was my shit. Bro, I love Obey. My Obey shit. Fucking Diamond Supply. Diamond Supply. Oh. <laughs> that shit was crazy. What else? That was crazy. King Dolphin. Yeah. Odd Future. Definitely. What shit. else? Uh, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of shit, bro. Man, it was, it was just that time. It really was. I love boobies, bracelets. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Remember the Mickey Mouse hands? They didn't even fucking let us use those at fucking school. Oh man, I used to put mine in office. I used to rock it like this, and I see somebody coming. <laughs> hide that shit. <laughs> Silly bands. Silly bands. Silly bands. <laughs> the nerd glasses, like the 3D ones. Uh, like, it's just pop the lens out. Yeah, people do that. I, I can do that shit. You know, zoom, fucking snapbacks and shit. Zoomies, Hot Topic, and Pax them, bro. They were, they were on fire back then. Fuck yeah. You weren't rocking that shit. You were nerd skinny jeans. I was jerking. <laughs> I was jerking, man. I was a jerker. I feel it. I didn't really get into dancing like that. I couldn't do the like the knee pop when they like bend the knee like this. Yeah, it was too far of a <laughs> when elevation change, <laughs> my knee would pop. No, I can't do that right now. Fuck no. No, no. Twenty four now. No, that sounds like some old guys like what? That's me. It's like what the fuck is he complaining about? No, I feel it now. See, okay, you look older because you're fucking huge. I look older because I got a Tall. fucking beard. So Tall. people think I'm old. I'm old. Tall. Tall. You're huge, bro. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Tall. You got like gigantism, bro. Yeah, it just started off, man. I have those old photos from Kimball Elementary. And it's like everybody's a fist. Bro, you were always tall as fuck. And it, <laughs> oh no, you were always taller than me. I, I see I see these fucking pictures and shit. Like if I go to the like the little flip books or whatever, yeah. you're tall as fuck compared to me. I gotta send oh. you the ones where we were playing for Blue Jays or a Back yeah. in the day. First you had an oversized fucking quadrada shirt. I probably had a lot of oversized <laughs> You were like a mini cholo, man. <laughs> Yeah, bro, because I think I was always, like, a little younger than everybody when I really played. Mm -hmm. But you're bigger than me, so, I mean, you fit in. Remember our, our no, epic, small as fuck. Our epic um, um, battles with Rio Grande? Yeah, all the time, bro. Yeah. Fuck that shit. No, man. No, you were you got a good, man. I kept getting hit in the nose. I was a good <laughs> player, but, like, because I got beat the fuck up. That chick? Yeah. That police would play for that? Mm -hmm. So, I found that she was, like, three years older than us. Yeah. But, like... You know, I would, I would put me in. You know, I always play defense. I don't know if I was center or right wing. Yeah. And she would kick the shit out of that ball. Boom. Yeah, I remember. Remember that yeah, remember. big game? I'd be crying. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever that chick is, man, that's the only girl I let, that I let beat me up. I'll probably, <laughs> need a finder, man. Need a finder. Right. I get, think she has a kid. I need a finder and get my um, get my um, my closure. As my brother Alan, she he fucking he knows me. They all know. Oh, I need he knows him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to find him. I need my closure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he knows him for sure. You get connected real quick. I need my closure, bro. You wherever closure. you are, wherever you are. I have to squabble you, real quick. You fucked up my nose for good. I have to squabble real quick, bro. I have to squabble up. I need to throw hands. One, one on one. For my guy, bro. I've been learning this recently, right? What's so up? being in the streets, 
Dude, these motherfuckers are too much of like simps and Captain Sable hoes. I swear to God, bro. Because like these girls get so hyped up about who they are and shit like that. They're so fucking delusional. As I they, swear to God, bro. As, as they should, though. That's the thing. As they should. Fucking delusional, bro. As they should, bro. Because there'd be, there'd be some girls, right, that have shot my shower fucking whatever, and they're so fucking out of their mind. I'm like, do you understand? You're a fucking grenade. Like, stop with this shit. Watching, like, watching Jersey Shore again? They'll fucking <laughs> diss you and shit, bro. I'm just like, what? It's like this. You're bro. crazy, bro. I, I don't slide in DMs. Crazy. I don't slide in DMs anymore. I don't. Yeah, I don't really slide in like I don't that slide either. in DMs anymore. It's not. It's not their fault. It's not because they're being grenades, as you, as you call it. It's not because I'm a sick. I just yeah. don't. I just don't care anymore. I'm just like okay. Yeah. Cool. You're pirating. You, you're partying. Yeah. You're having fun. You're out here saying, "Hey, my friend." Okay. It's like I don't. I don't like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna diss you. I'm not gonna interact. No, there, with you. there's a fucking difference, bro. There's there's those girls who party all the time that you see. That kind of there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's your life. Do whatever the fuck you want with it. <laughs> you want to go on the club, do it. You want to be yeah. with that crowd, do it. There's a lot of stuff that come with it. Yeah. So be prepared to go with that. And if you're not, if you're over here, you know, polar opposite, not doing all that, there's also stuff that come with it that comes with that. Definitely. It's like I ain't judging this. I ain't judging you. Have your fun. I've hung out with that crowd. It's not for me. I feel it. You know, it's not for me. I'm not gonna diss you. You live your what you live the life you want you want to live and you gotta deal with the consequences. I'm gonna be over here. Doing my shit, living how I want. If you want to come hang and learn from me, I'm a little cool. Doors open. Yeah. But don't diss me on that shit. They'll be like, oh, it used to be so much fun. Now you ain't your square. No, no, no. I'm not on that time. Okay? <laughs> I'm not on that time. So go, yeah. have, go have your fun. Go get drunk. Go get, do all that shit. Go with what you got to um, go through. Hey, man. Like, hey, man, you just do you. Yeah. I just stopped drinking last, um, last year because. Had alcohol poisoning. That was the worst shit I ever felt in my life, bro. Really? Hell yeah. Fuck. I was. It was Christmas. I don't drink that much. Fuck no. No, it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas. No, it was Christmas. Yeah. Um, Julio 70, the black, the black label one. Uh huh. And then Don Julio 1942. We had some Casamigos. We had some Coralejo. We had a whole bunch of drinks, right? Definitely. Um, I didn't drink water throughout the whole day. I got there. I was eating. Had a Cantaros drink. Drinking Cantaros, taking yeah. shots myself, and I really like the 70, but I also kept drinking. <clears throat> I felt good, man. I was I was singing um, No Llega No Olvido by Jenny Rivera. I was karaoke, bro, and I was okay. <laughs> My mom was like, let's go. Yeah. Cool. All I remember is I get home, I take a piss, and I don't know how, to, how I fell asleep. What? Next day, I feel like a pool, eat a little bit, stay home, didn't really take care of myself as I should have. Yeah. Bro. That shit hit you? Five days. Uh Five days, I'm just throwing up. My kidneys were hurting. I was dehydrated. I was Shit, nasty. Headaches, fevers. I'm just like, fuck. Bro. Yeah. I thought I had COVID. Took a COVID test. Came back negative, obviously. Yeah. And my head, my doctor, I'm like, yo, I feel like this, this, and that. I said, did you it's your first time drinking? <laughs> oh fuck. She talking about beer. Oh, here. This is your first time drinking. <laughs> no, bro, I'm not damn here. right. This is my first time drinking. Yeah, right. I don't do these activities. I don't. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like to get in states of mind where I don't have control of myself. You know. I feel it. Or if I'm gonna get drunk, I'm gonna make sure everybody around me is solid. Yeah. Because I don't want to be in a, a car full of fucking drunk idiots. The next thing you know, you know. Exactly. That's why I like driving. My mom has to bury me. I don't want my mom to go through that. I feel that. That's my only thing keeping me from, you know, clubbing and shit. I'll go clubbing. Yeah. I rarely do it. It's not my it's not my not my crowd. But have fun. Let my homies have fun. They can do what they want to do. See, let me teach you this move, bro. No. All right. So for all the all the homies trying to pick up chicks. Oh, all the homies trying to pick up chicks, you gotta work on yourself. You feel me? You gotta look good. You gotta get a nice haircut. You gotta be crispy, clean at all times. Mm-hmm. And then girls will come talk to you. You also gotta have homies that tell you, "Hey, your hairline is straight." <laughs> yeah, you gotta have some be, of that. There, there's some homies, man, that let you yeah. go out the house looking all fucking crazy and shit. Like, damn, you're circle ain't tell you nothing, bro. Yeah, those are not your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm sorry, See, man. You, like, you gotta have your style down, bro. If you dress in like whack, you ain't pulling nothing. What's your current style right now? Uh, I got a bunch, bro. I got different personalities. I got my little, you know, for every situation. Yeah. Uh, but right now I'm rocking like a. My little pretty boy fit sometimes. Right now I got the, I might be somebody's baby daddy fit. You know what I'm saying? Got the nice, you got the gray sweats. I've been really into like the, the dad look lately though. 
So I've been rocking like, you know, I'll rock like a long sleeve polo. Mm -hmm. I'll rock some pants and mm -hmm. I'll rock some, some boots. You got some dress, Doc Martens. You got to dress to set a, set a tone, set a message. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? See, like my haircut says fuck boy, but my outfit says that. You know? This is what I'm talking about here. That's how we do it. <laughs> my haircut says I listen to one too much. <laughs> Your haircut says I drive a truck. I drive a truck. <laughs> Can't see my little Civic. I look way too big for that car. I'm like, all you see is shoulder, arm, head way over here. That is crazy, bro. The sun probably never hits your eyes unless it's sunset. Huh? Oh, bro, I got my, I got a sunroof in that shit. Yeah, and like hits my my torso and my lap. <laughs> it doesn't hit my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And I was like, man, why did I choose this car, man? Yeah, yeah man. But I don't know. Nah, no, that size is dope, bro. It's I dope. Want, man. I fuck with it. I want to get a Hellcat though. A Hellcat. And you're talking about getting out the streets? Get out of here, oh, bro. I love health, man. man. I like cars, man. You know, I got a got a 1970 Duster that I'm working on. You know, I've always oh, been into yeah. cars. Yeah. Yeah, but I like muscle cars and shit. Old school Europeans, old school Japanese. I want to get a fucking Ford F-150 Lightning, the new one. Fucking. Talking about the electric one? Throw it out. Hell yeah. All right, bro. I'm trying to get the electric one, bro. 430 horsepower, you feel me? Mm -hmm. A single cap. Mm -hmm. Tandem windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not going to be going too fast, bro. No all, sound? All the electricity is going to go to your speakers instead of the truck. It's <laughs> about a whooping yeah. in the city. I'm going to go 25 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That shit's good. <laughs> that shit's mileage is going to be like 20 miles. <laughs> bro, I also want to... Yeah. I also want a hybrid, though. A hybrid? Yeah. Okay, so like work, which one? I work at Honda, right? Yeah. There's a Honda Clarity. Yeah. Right? It looks like... It's a weird looking fucking car. Definitely. And um, give me a second. Let me tell you something. The gas mileage on this shit. The gas mileage slash yes. the uh, the battery life. Okay, the battery range is like thirty to thirty five miles. <clears throat> uh huh. I live like max seven miles my work. Yeah. So I can just be running on electricity going to work. Never have to touch gas. That's dope. And the thing, the interior looks like a spaceship, dude. It's nice. Yeah. Hot interiors are getting greater. And greater, trust me. The new Civic, go check that shit out. It looks like a Mercedes inside. But it's cool because you first of all you get we're in California, so if you buy a hybrid, they give you all the rebates and shit with it, right? Yeah. So you knock off on Civic. Can you check my phone real quick? Is it still recording? Yeah. Alright, cool. You get the rebates, you can knock off, you know, like seven grand from your I don't know if it's seven grand or not, but you can like like a good chunk of money from what you already owe. Yeah. That's that. You're not spending get money on gas, especially right now, because Yeah. yeah. You're driving with premium. You're driving with 91 right now. I'm sorry, bro. I feel bro, that bro the homies paying fuck, paying for fucking like 97. Y'all crazy, bro. Man, I'm, I'll tell you this. These motherfuckers over here spending like 100 bucks any, just to get to the fucking club. Any girl trying to date me. If you're not like in a 10 mile radius, I need, to, I need at least 20 bucks for the tank. Bro, I was so fucking debating that shit. Because like, I, you know, I was I was talking to some 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 women that are like San Jose, over here, over there. What are you going to San Jose for, bro? That's a mission. Social media, social media, bro. I can't, I can't. So, I can't be talking Or about like, that. I would meet them at the bar and shit, and they're from San Jose. I'm like, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. You know, Vinny's, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And so, I, I was like, fuck, dude, like, gas spiked up. I was like, never mind. No never San Jose. Mind. I'm no sorry. San Jose, I'm sorry. Bro. I might have to carpool with somebody. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I ain't trying to spend a hundred bucks just to go see you. Mm -hmm. Not even to eat or nothing. Just hundred bucks. Just see you, man. We can't be. We can't be. You feel me? The MR2 gets like twenty miles to the gallon, bro. Like, mm. hey, bro. Mm, man. Hey, that's why I bought the other side, man. It's nice. It's forty, thirty-one miles to the gallon. Okay. I mean, bad thing is, it's like I didn't run on ninety-one. I put eighty-seven in it. There, yeah. Man. Felt like shit. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. So, uh, I swear, man, you gotta run 91 on that car. But yeah, the hybrids are cool, bro, because I got my Camry out there. It's a hybrid, too. The only thing is, like, uh, if you buy a used, uh, the battery is probably gonna run out pretty soon. Um, and, like, if you buy a new, it'll probably run out somewhere around like 100,000 miles. Because mm -hmm. mine ran out, like, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. so I'm driving it on all gas. All gas? All gas, bro. That 20 miles a gallon. You're missing another 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing another 20. You're missing another battery, bro. It's wrong. Like, I'm saying, like, if I'm going out of my way for you, yeah, I don't mean to sound mis misogynistic. I'm, trust me, that's not me. But like, I need like twenty bucks on. I need twenty bucks on the tank. Is that your phone? That's my phone. Let me go check this. Shit. All good. All right, so I'm gonna have a quick monologue. So for all the ladies out there, if you're trying to get yourself a high value man, hit up my boy Posola Playboy. He is six foot five. Um, where's the shoe size of Gigantonormous? Twelve. I don't know. 
Uh, he's over here making his money. He's a mechanic. And he's, bro, how, look at that Edgar cut, bro. Like, I'm not emotionally available. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they all win. <laughs> exactly, bro. It's but like, yeah, yeah, the hybrids are cool, bro, for sure. Uh, my dad had recently bought, like, a Corolla hybrid that she got, like, 50 miles a gallon. That shit was crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Fill up with 60 bucks the last few two weeks. Crazy. It's, it's hard times out here, man. Then we're going to get drafted pretty soon. Yeah. You know what I'm Yeah. I need to work on my handwriting so I can write letters and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro. You know what I'm saying? I write in cursive, bro. I so, like. See, the thing is, I, I work at a, um, at a shop, man. So, like. Yeah. There's, when I used to work at Subaru, it was all typing. So, mm -hmm. my typing skills now are amazing compared to when I actually needed them in college and <laughs> high school writing papers. Yeah. It used to be like. I was fucking. Horrible, bro. No, I couldn't no. type for shit. No, I'm like, you know? Yeah, I got better because uh, I typed my subtitles in. So I have to, like, you know, type gotta, them in. I'm like, fuck. The faster dude. you are, it just gets a lot easier, right? Exactly. And now that I'm working in a shop, my handwriting used to be pretty decent. Yeah. But now that I got, like, you got to get a car out of here, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, it becomes, it becomes bad, man. A show. Yeah, right. Last topic right now, man. All right, bro. What do you want to talk about? Last topic. You right. say you want to talk some bullshit. I want to talk, some, talk, I want to talk some shit. First of all, I need to diss some couple people, man. Yeah, yeah. who are we dissing? We dissing Will Allen. Smith. We, uh oh, no, I'm never mind. Allen. Fuck, never mind. Allen, bro. I haven't seen you in the middle. Allen? Never hit me at home. Damn, Allen, bro. What the, what what the, the fuck, fuck is wrong bro? with you, bro? He was out here this weekend, bro. He was bro. out here this week, man. I, I was him. sleepwalking with him, bro. I swear to God. So I slept at his house and I slept walked at his house, bro. That's close, man. That's yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm trying to see walk with you too. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, bro. What the fuck is you, you're wrong? You're out here. You never hit me up. Second person I want to diss. He's a fucking new guy, huh? Second person I got to diss. It's him. Oh my god. It's him, man. <laughs> she's gonna watch this. Oh no, man, because she's supposed to be homies. Beef with you, so. We got beef, man. We're trying to set up, you know, link up all three of us because we're yeah. all homies and shit. But stop. Uh. No, she out here trying to hustle me, man. Oh, <laughs> she was trying to hustle us for the fucking city no, sports. For the city sports, city man. City sports, man. You don't get the bag regardless. Don't worry about us. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'll go to city sports if it's free. Fuck yeah, You man. feel me? Yeah, and I want free, free, nice. and I want free t-shirts, man. Fuck free t-shirts? Free t-shirts. Shit. Give me a discount once in a while, because I don't want you to get you in trouble. You know? Okay, okay. You know, I got to keep it on the low, man, because if I keep getting handouts, I'm going to get fired. Exactly. So just give me a, give me a protein shake, sneak one in, you know, put one in my back. Yeah. What else I got to do this? Um, Man, I just don't. I just don't want to go out here like that, man. Yeah, I want to diss people who don't know how to make horchata. Oh, if I man. see you with that portable shit, <laughs> with the portable I'm just shit. slapping you. <laughs> don't come with the premix. No, I'm slapping you. That rice water shit. That rice water shit doesn't even taste right. The consistency is not right. It's too thin. Yeah. You don't get the little bits at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> yeah, know, you the, know the cinnamon. Bit, the cinnamon, man. You know, you know it's, it sucks when you get that in the straw, but like, you yeah, know, that's real that's shit. Right. Yeah. I don't want to see portable or chata in the streets no more, man. Fuck nah. you, man. You're misrepresenting our people. Bro, these people be getting crazy with some of the foods they be making nowadays. Bro, so bro. back in our, like, fucking high school days, mm -hmm. people were doing, like, crazy shit, like, putting, I don't know, fucking Takis and tacos or some shit like that, or, like, cheese Takis or something. Hey, man, and we're starting. Now, bro, that shit crazy. These motherfuckers just creating different foods you with get, all that shit. You get ramen, man. It's just, it doesn't uh, work, bro. It doesn't work. I don't know. I'm bro. sorry. I tried it. Just, multiple times, multiple people. It doesn't work. These people crazy out here with that. Also, not everybody can make beauty. I'm telling you, not everybody can make beauty. I believe it. Bland as hell. I don't care if you dress it up and shit with all the cilantro and all the cebolla. It's yeah. bland as hell. I want to give a, a shout out to my boy, Fruta Loco. His name is Alex. He's out um, selling um, birria tacos, birria tortas, birria quesadillas, birria fries. Yeah. He does four things, bro. And, it's, and he does it well. Out in Concord, on Monument Boulevard. It is in a hood, so you might um, don't go there all flamed up. You might get shot. Yeah, y'all don't know about Monument. Monument's crazy. Monument, so I gotta bro. make sure, man. I had my Niner cap the other day, and they were looking at me. I was like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like that, man." It's I'm not in the streets like that no more, man. I never was like that, but I feel it. I don't want to get blasted over some tacos, man. Nah, bro, we gotta have the G lock on. Hey, can you feel me? The G lock. I gotta buy a fucking gun. <laughs> I gotta get it. It's getting crazy. People be annoying me too much, bro. <laughs> it's been getting crazy out here, bro. The crazy thing is, people know my fucking car, so then people can spot where I live. That's why. So it's fucking wild. That's man. why I sold the Datsun, man. That's right. Like, yeah. Where I go, you know, it's cool at first. Like, oh, the homies in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know people are looking at me like, you know what? I don't want to have a banana ass fucking car <laughs> in the middle of Pittsburgh. Oh, there it goes, homeboy. Yeah. 
And then when I bought the the Civic, it's just like a black Honda. Like See, nobody notices me. I fucking live off that shit though, bro. Like low key, I like controlled like attention. Yeah. So I decided when I drive my car, I want to get the attention. You feel me? But like when it's at my fucking house, people are like, "Is that where fucking Brandon lives? Let's mm-hmm. shoot up the house or some shit." And mm-hmm. I'm like, "Fuck, dude, I gotta get the fuck out of here." Oh, man. People know me too much over here. I'm about to see me sleepwalking across the street, man. Yeah. They're gonna, they're they're gonna, gonna see me sleepwalking across the street. Start yell- fucking G Law. And start yelling at people. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit was crazy. I was I was fucking having that a night terror, bro. And like the first time I had a night terror, it went from night terror to sleep paralysis. So I kinda like faded back into my room somehow. Mm. And I thought someone was trying to kill me. So I started yelling, bro, and I was like, fuck, dude, the moment I get the chance, I'm gonna grab my knife and stab this motherfucker. What's your mom say or your parents say? So I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I wanna so, know. Like... So I was so I, I ended up yelling like and waking myself up. And I, I started yelling in real life and noticed I was awake. I was like, fuck, dude. Like I started hearing rumbling like my parents waking up. I was like, bro, if my dad would have walked in, I was just gonna stab him. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, fuck, gotta, be careful with the night terrors. You gotta protect natural, man. He's a real motherfucker. He's a real motherfucker. <laughs> so man. I tried telling him that, Yeah, I tried telling my mom in seriousness, like, hey mom, like be careful if you see me sleepwalking or like if you hear me yelling in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'm having these night terrors and shit. Yeah. So like I might kinda sock you or some shit thinking you're like a it's trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. And she was like, laughed it off, took it as a fucking joke. Yep. And then literally the next fucking day. I have this night terror. I give off the loudest fucking yell I've ever given off in my life. Okay. It scares the fuck out of my mom. <laughs> she comes in the room like, are you okay? Hey, hey, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. And then That's the okay. next day, I was like, so you believe me now? She's like, oh, I thought somebody was hurting you. The mental way. Yeah. I'm like, I'm telling you. I was like, you, you fucking believe me now. Any, huh? any woman that's into like, and all that leaf shit, get them off. Oh, fuck, like, man. Get the fuck no, out of here. Fix them, please. That, fix them, man. For the family's sake. Hell no. Nah, we're, we're gonna reset it for you. Good man. vibe shit. You feel me? No. I'm wholesome. Over here living my life. I'm becoming a high value man. I'm gonna have you sitting in the middle, right? We're gonna rosario, yeah. bro. We're gonna have a rosario for you. Just talking about it, dude. All the mysterios, bro. You know. I just saw a ghost. Like uh, I was heading to a bar, bro. Yeah. I was passing under like a street lamp, mm-hmm. and as soon as I passed the light, a little flicker of like an uh, image came up next to me, and I passed the light, and it disappeared. I was That's like, the oh, one fuck. keeping you up like, at night, bro. You need a leaf, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. This is a good <laughs> ghost, bro. <laughs> You know all the little hairs went up. You feel me? I was mm, like, ooh, like yeah. that's potentially a ghost. The thing is, I believe that shit because I'm like a, I'm like a bro. Yeah. Not even, not like not in that sense, but like I be having dreams and they come true. Yeah. Not to sound corny, but it's like little shit, little details. Like yeah. I'm like, oh, I had a dream that so and so was pregnant. Yeah. Four months later. They're pregnant. Yeah. Or some somebody was getting married. I don't know who it was. Next yeah. You know, I'm engaged. <laughs> and shit like that my mom That's has great. it my tio Chui has it my grandma has it now I have it nah I'm real tapped into like energy bro so like like I could I, I have a really good sixth sense so I can tell like oh this is a legit ghost like I'm not just seeing shit mm-hmm. you feel me mm-hmm. so I'm good with that talk uh, about the one sitting right there yeah 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 so I'm real tapped into my sixth sense so I understand mm-hmm. what you're talking about yeah I just be knowing when people are faking now. That's fucking. That's my sixth sense. <laughs> I'm like, nah, that motherfucker gonna gonna backstab me soon. Next thing you know, I'm going to do some shady shit. Yeah. So I'm I'm low key, man. I keep to myself. Careful, bro. I'll fucking it's, fucking it's, snake you out, bro. Saying, bro. If I I'll it, fucking switch up real quick. If I ever see it's on the street, bro. We throwing hands. If these motherfuckers are like, yo, you gotta turn your back on Alex and and delete the whole fucking podcast for six figs. It's gone, bro. bro what podcast? What the fuck are we talking about? No, here? bro. Give me those six figs, bro. What are we talking about? I'm gonna need a percentage off of that. Percentage? You, you're using my likeness and my personality just to get your money. You don't see me ball out in a throat? You're going to be like, how'd you get that money, you bro? Talk about a, uh, using Nissan for six grand? <laughs> you ain't going to get nothing with that, bro. <laughs> Shit. You ain't going to get nothing with six grand, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Anything else you want to cover? Uh, let's see. We talked about fake-ass horchata. Yeah. We talked about bad beater. We talked about itzel. We talked about itzel. All we right. talked about Allen. We talked about the throats. We talked talk about trocas. We talked about, you know, jewelry. Yeah. Talk about our parents. Talk about this motherfucker needs help. He needs Olympia. Five foot two girls tap in. If you got like a really, really Aztec name like Sochi, the better. <laughs> that's like, my the better. That's Alan's mom's name. The better, bro. The better. We want some fucking culture to come along with this shit. Don't come out here. Your name's fucking. I need like Your my all, all Marias, all Sochi, this all fucking. It, it's all. It's such an Aztec ass name. Come help this guy, man. Get out of here. We need some yeah. real authentic Mayan Aztec. It's just tapped into the witcher right? I'm saying, bro, that she can't help you out, man. We don't need that out here. It's so come with the huevitos, man. Just some of rosario. I'm cracking the huevitos, bro. Like, cracking the huevitos. It's about to be like blood. Wouldn't you see all those freaking things? That means you 
continuing to play. Um, <laughs> what else we cover, man? I don't know. Conquer's, uh, Conquer dealerships, <clears throat> man. The Conquer Mall was a dealership at one point for all prices, man. Bro, the fu- they need to close the fucking Antioch Mall. That shit needs um, garbage. If the Antioch Mall can still survive, so can you. So stop bitching, man. That's, yeah, that's an inspiration for you. Car- it is an inspiration. Kind no, of. No more Sears. It's a fucking dump. No more Macy's. Fias is still there. Nobody goes to Fias. <laughs> yes, bro. Nah, there was a Forever Factory to You days. Fuck. There was a Forever Twenty One there. I remember it. There yeah. was Zoomies. There was a Hot Topic, Victoria's Secret. Man, it was a good time, bro. Man, now, throw that fucking mall away, bro. Uh, that shit used to be popping, and then they literally it was never didn't popping, change. Bro. It was never popping. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't want to go all the way to the Conquer, so I'm gonna go to Antioch. It was Pretty never much. popping. I go there and I go to Sauces right next to, or. I had a doctor's appointment at Delta. If, if y'all are Asian, y'all need to open up some fucking Chinese food places out here, bro. Because all of them closed down during the pandemic, mm-hmm. bro. And I can't get no Chinese food unless it's fucking Golden Dragon. That shit was trash. Golden Dragon had MSG, bro, for a long time. That shit's so garbage, bro. bro. it was good at one point. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had MSG and that shit. I ate like four plates of fucking food. <laughs> and that's how, that's how healthy. We need some Chinese food out here, bro. Save any of I was, I swear to God. I was 12 eating mad fucking orange chicken. Yeah. And fucking, what else they had? Like, french fries and pizza. And I was eating, like, bad uh, scoops of ice cream. But it was The like, ice cream, the fro after, bro. The mm, soft serve. Mm, fucking say mm, less. Mm. Now it's trash. Bro, I used to... You know what I used to be? That's so stupid, right? I'll eat a salad first. Yeah. And fruit. I want to be health conscious, right? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like 11 or 12, right? <laughs> go for the, the... The shit our mom teaches or something? Bro, I don't know, man. I just thought it was cool, man. I go yeah. for the big plate of Chinese food. It's hella sodium. It's hella grease, hella whatever, right? Yeah. And I go for like everything else, like the pizza. They got, you know, the yeah. other other cuisines, the right? French fries. And I go, then I go to the fucking um, ice cream, yeah. thinking like the salad fucking saved me. Nah, yeah. but I just ingested a whole shit ton of food yeah. in my little ass body. And I'd be like in the truck, just oh, not, like fuck. throwing up, but like burping like crazy. And I was like, no wonder I gained so much weight. <laughs> I was a husky, bro. I was husky. Yeah. I couldn't buy normal pants. I had to buy like a you know a size eight husky or some shit. Yeah, bro, it was a bad time. I hated husky pants, bro. Fuck them pants, bro. bro. Yeah, low, low I hated that whole wave of gangsta clothing, bro. Like that shit was trash. That shit is bro. hard, bro. Hey, the you pants. Were, you ever I hated the old pants, pants, bro. Fifty cent and dip set, bro. Motherfuckers are hard, bro. No, bro. Rock and wear shit. I, those. I've always been into more fitted pants, yeah. like slim fits. I wear skinny now, but yeah. like. I, I, for legit, all of elementary school, I only wore shorts because I hated husky pants, bro. Do you have any calves? Because I can't wear shorts. Bro. I got fucking the hugest calves you'll ever see on a guy my size. Bro, I've been working on my calves. Without being obese. For four right. months straight, bro. They ain't growing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing calf you right You got now. skinny legs and drill. I, like, I got quads, bro. Like, my quads will fucking yeah. pop up like nothing. Same thing with my hamstrings, but like, my fucking calves, bro? Yeah. There's a photo of me, and I hope it never leaks. And my yeah. mom has this, so I know who fucking puts it out there. I'm jumping off a rock into a into, uh-huh. like, into like a river. <laughs> Calves look mad skinny, bro. Uh, look like little sticks attached to a big ass body. Now, nah, like, bro, man. I've had soccer legs for fucking forever. So my calves always been on point. The thing is, sometimes I would get a little chunky, so they get a little too big. Yeah. And you feel you you, you, you know the fucking socks, the long socks, keep fucking squeezing your oh, fucking sorry, legs. Bro. That should be killing you, bro. bro it time. makes you want to fucking like, ah, uh, like at at like the half day of school. You feel me, bro? You take those socks fucking off. Fucking legs are throbbing. You take your lo- those socks off, right? And they're all sweaty and shit, right? Your skin's <laughs> all like moisturized with yeah. all the sweat. You take the freaking um, the shin guards off. You just start scratching that shit, bro. Oh, that scratch is the best That's scratch. The best. <laughs> all the soccer players know, man. That scratch is the, the best. best scratch ever, bro. You bro. just sit there for like five minutes. Like, oh, it's the best Pretty thing. much, bro. It's probably the second closest thing to busting a nut. I swear. Just about to say that, bro. The second best thing to busting a nut is scratching your legs after you had some fucking tight ass socks on. Bro, that's stupid. All the soccer players felt this. All the football players, man. I don't, you know, they probably weren't yeah. big soccer shit, but they weren't shit and guards and shit, but that's the best feeling, man. For sure. Man, or, you know, taking the piss after you've been holding it for like. God that too, long, when you man. get the little shiver. The little shiver, bro. Like, oh, that should be oh, hitting. Oh, you just feel like, you feel like a new man, bro. You feel like a new man. <laughs> You wake up, your hair still, cr- you know, great. Yeah. Best feeling thing ever, man. You wake up before your alarm. Well, that's a bad feeling. Uh, it's a good feeling now. It used to be a bad feeling when I was a little kid. Yeah. Because I was like, shit, I could have been asleep for 20 more minutes. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I beat the clock. I can actually wake up with myself and actually eat some breakfast and stuff. Yeah. But, nah, man, what else? There's a lot of gems in life, man. Yeah. Bro, fuck. 
Close, yeah. man. We're almost on this one hour mark. I don't want to bore people for too long. It's all good. We cut it off pretty quick, man. We just that, we get that one hour. That's it. Boom. That's all I want to give you. There's like 60 to 90 minutes parking outside, so I'm knowing my time frame's like. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to be like, I'll hey. be honest, if you parked over here, they usually I know. don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck here, but over there, I saw the sign. I was like, man, they give a, If you park on the over there near the playground, they don't yeah. give a fuck. If you park like library or over here, over there they trip. 90 minutes, yeah. Bro, I think they put fucking a sticker on my car, bro. One day I, I, I was like watching my car. I know this fucking sticker, a barcode. I was like, what the fuck is this? Who the yeah. fuck put a barcode on my car? Yeah. I don't know if that was here or somewhere. Somebody was trying to track my car. You feel me? No, man, you gotta respect like, that shit. So as soon as, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll knife someone up real quick. I know, to get I know it was probably like three minutes walk in and come up here. About five minutes to set up. Yeah. That's eight minutes. Yeah. We're at 51 right now. So we're at 59 minutes. So I got like 30 minutes before they guys can start tripping on me, right? Yeah. I just want to walk out. So, what the fuck y'all doing? Yeah, I think I got like one ticket here before. I never paid that shit. Man, you better check that. Nah, fuck that shit. Next, you know, FBI gonna pull up on you. I gotta pay registration soon. So. Mm, <laughs> Watch it pop up. Man, you gotta, fuck them, guys. you gotta make sure you got the money for the Brentwood. <laughs> Brentwood? I paid that shit. You ain't got too much money. You gotta say you gentrifying or anything, right, man. Them guys. All right, you just say this, man. Right? Yeah, you just say this, man. Fuck, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't know. Some shit about Brentwood and you have parking cars. So yeah, Brentwood and like that. Yeah, Brentwood is a Brentwood or Oakley is weird as place for one why? Because it's getting all developed. Yeah. Passing by some really nice houses, two story, multi million dollar houses, and all of a sudden big ass deal. It's just like this is like how do I say it, bro? Like this used to be all farmland, bro. Give it like ten more years, this oh. is gonna be like just as big as like Oakland and Richmond. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's just moving out here, everybody's passing through, trying to get the Stockton area. Mm-hmm. Like it's all coming here. It's gonna come here, man. Whenever people people want to rep fucking Richmond, they want to rep Oakland, and then they come to live in Antioch. Hey, or man. Pittsburgh. It's just they got pushed out, man. You know what it is, man. Gentrification is a real problem out here. All the tech guys coming in. Yeah. You Everybody know. out here is like, I'm from Oakland. I'm from the streets. <laughs> it's good, I'm like, it's, like, it's fucking Antioch, son. No, it's like, it's like I get it. You know, they raise your rent. Yeah. It's fucked up, right? But also, and the thing is, like, those people, all that money, why do you want to live in a small-ass fucking house? Yeah, I don't know. And pay that much fucking money. It's like, oh, yeah. like, that ain't cool. It really isn't. That ain't cool. You're paying three grand a month for this little piece of shit, bro? For a fucking beat-up apartment? And now, yeah. All, and all the, you know, all the people that were been there, native, you know, been there all their lives, went to school there, blah, blah. Yep. Now they got to go, you know, relocate their lives because they can't afford no more, man. It's... It's it crazy, bro. It's bad, man. It's fucked up. But, like, next thing you know, not all the other cities are feeling the grant. You see, what I'm trying to do, bro, I'm trying to, like, get some shmonies, get connected, go on those negotiations, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then, some way, somehow, whether I'm, like, I become a fucking singer or they sign me for my podcast or some shit, you feel me? They're like, podcast in español? <laughs> some shit like that. And then I'm going to fucking buy a home in Arizona and fucking Texas no. and, like, all these cheap ass places so I can just bounce around. Bounce around, no, man. My goal is this, man. My goal is this, um, get my money up, make sure I got multiple forms of income. And I, I, there's a lot of places I like to go, man. Yeah. Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, all these nice places. But yesterday, um, I actually fell in love with the town. Yeah. And it's weird because like I'll, a whole lot of families out there, a whole lot of people from my dad's place, a whole lot of... Yeah. It's called Healdsburg, California, right? Mm-hmm. It's like 30 minutes north of um, Santa Rosa. It's beautiful, bro. There's a lot of vineyards out there. There's... All these hills, these ranges, the yeah, coast. It's like, kind of, I've been yeah, out there. Yeah, bro, it's a nice fucking place to be at. And um, you know, I went to a funeral yesterday. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a family friend. Mom died, you know. Mm-hmm. God bless them. You know, I went through some, some hard shit, and I'm really close with that family. Yeah. But I was looking around like, like, holy shit, all these people came out. Yeah. At one point, that that um, that city was only people from my dad's town and pe- a family from Guanajuato. Yeah. And now... You know, people started coming and coming. They see, you know, the whole city knows it's, knows it's not the whole town. I mean, at least, at least the brown side of the town. Yeah. There's a lot of white <laughs> people down there. But the downtown's sick, bro. The downtown, yeah. I got all these bars and shit. Like, damn, I want to try that shit. It's probably like $20 a drink, but I'm fucking, <laughs> right? But then you got this little ass church, man. Yeah. All the vices on there, man. All my homies, man. Shout out to the vices keeping it down. Yeah. Um, I go to the funeral and I'm like, damn, all these people. Like, I know that person. I know that person. What the fuck? I got people hitting me up like, hey. We used to fucking do this shit to get remember like four or five. Like, damn, really, bro? Sure. It's crazy, man. You ever, you ever go to a family news? You look in at us? I'm going to be honest, no. Really? Nah, my family don't do like big ass parties like that anymore. Man, like just people you haven't seen in a while. Like, 
Oh, oh. Que tan grande, mira que grande estás, See, all that family for me is like out in fucking, where is that shit? Uh, Visalia, fucking Fresno area. Oh. They're all out there for me, like. Uh, you ever shake like a trip down there, like once every a, once in a while, bro? A while. So it, it's like that, yeah. It's like, who the kid is? I'm like, what are you trying to tell me right now? Like, <laughs> so that See, oh, I used to hug you. If I went over there right now, I haven't seen them in like five years. Yeah. And in that time, I grew this fucking beard. So yeah. I look way different. They'd probably be like, who the fuck is this guy? Is this a kid? They're gonna be like, El Indio? It's Rando. Oh, Rando! Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be some shit like that. Yeah, some shit. Okay, shout out to the Mexicans, man. Shout out to my Pisces, my Tlacuaches, my, my Cholos, my Chicanos, my every every single form of Mexican. Shout out to you guys. Too. Yeah. We out here. We're, we're, we're not the same, but we're all cool. True, true. Like same. Show. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's cut it off, I guess. Like uh, six minutes. You no, know, I don't like Allen. I don't like Itzel. <laughs> y'all can fight me in the next podcast. Come over here. We'll have a debate about yeah. how much y'all, y'all just are ducking me and trying to use me. Give us like one fucking year after this trade shit. I become a truck driver. Alex becomes an electrician. We're going to have a fucking mamalona. And we're going to become a pair of fucking mamalona sides. I'm, be honest with you. I'm probably just going to hang out with somebody with, uh, with a kid already. Just be a baby daddy or something. I don't know. You know what? I, might come, I might just save a shit. Who sugar mama? It? Fuck it. We're all on that vibe. We're, we're all sugar mamas, baby mamas, everything. Man. Sugar mamas. I might have to save somebody. You know? I'm baby feeling mamas. generous. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy right here. Brandon. Brandon. Brando. Who the fuck is Brandon? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Brando. Limbo podcast. You know what it is. Shout out. My, my chain is real. Don't come at me. You don't see my Mine is too, but mine's a little. Why so your, I can't why, do that. Why is, your neck, why is your neck green, bro? It's turning to the Hulk right now. Um, secretly, you know, mm. I just kind of like cover myself in, in dollar bills. Mm. So that's why it's green. Mm. Man, I can't relate. Really, it's <laughs> in my car, man. Shut up. <laughs> see, see you at the next family function. See you at uh, your local taqueria. You know, just places you'll catch me, man. Yeah. Uh, you won't see me there because I'm vegetarian. Original. All right, we're done. <laughs>